Employees Setup. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on adding new employees. Before we begin, we need to look at Employee Options, where General Employee Settings are entered. Select the Employees module to expand the menu and then click Options. In the Payroll Options area, you will see the Drake Accounting defaults to use the U.S. Department of Labor rules to calculate payroll. This option will automatically force the federal minimum wage rules if the employee is getting paid less than the federal minimum wage and the employee is flagged as a tipped employee. This same principle is applied to the state and local level when you select Adhere to State Local Minimum Wage. You can also select Suppress Display of Terminated Employees, Store All Overtime Pay Separate from Regular Pay, and Suppress Check Stub Printing for Direct Deposit. Let's look at Journal Type. Drake Accounting will automatically post payroll transactions to a journal if you select Generate Accounting Transactions. Select one of three ways to post transactions to the journal. If you select Post Detailed Payroll to Journal, Drake Accounting creates a separate payroll journal entry for each payroll transaction. Please note that bank reconciliation will only work with detailed payroll. You can alternatively choose to post cumulative payroll to journal, where all employees are combined into one set of entries with all pay periods rolled into one set of entries. Or post combined payroll to journal, which combines all employees into one set of entries, but each check date gets its own set of entries. Using the drop list, select to which journal the transactions will post. Now let's move on to the Employer 401k Match Options. Within this box, you can enter the percentage the employer will contribute of the employee contribution. In the Up to Percent of Employee field, enter the maximum percentage the employer will contribute to the employee's 401k. Select whether the maximum percentage is of the employee's earnings before taxes, gross wages, or after taxes, net wages. Please note, the IRS determines the deduction limit and catch-up limit, and these amounts were accurate when the program shipped. If the government changes these amounts, or if you bring the client forward from a prior year, you will need to manually update them. Next, under Accrual Options, you can have Drake Accounting track automatic sick hours and or automatic vacation hours. Enter the default amount in the annual sick hours and annual vacation hours if applicable. Enter the number of hours worked required to earn one hour of sick and vacation time in the respective hours required field. You can adjust these hours for individual employees. If you maintain a chart of accounts for this client, you will need to complete the GL Account Numbers tab that allows you to tell the software which accounts you want used for payroll. After all options have been entered, click Save. The next item you see in the navigation tree is Deductions and Benefits. For more information on how to set these up, view the Deductions and Benefits video. Now we are ready to add a new employee. The employee module should still be expanded. Select Employee Setup. You can sort the list of employees by first name, last name, or employee code. Click New in the upper right corner of the screen. Drake Accounting does not require you to complete all fields within the tabs. If there is not a red validator beside the field, you are not required to address that particular field. If you would like to edit an employee's information at a later date, you would simply select the employee from the employee list and then edit the employee's information by clicking the appropriate tab and field. Let's enter the employee's personal information. Enter the employee code, then the first name and last name. United States is a default for country, which can be changed by selecting the drop list and choose a different country. As you tab through the fields, you can see it goes from address 1 to address 2 to the zip code field, which skips the city and state fields because once you enter the zip code, Drake Accounting automatically fills the city and state fields for you. When you tab to a date, like date of birth, you must either check the box to input the information manually or click the calendar icon to choose the date. 
Direct Key Counting defaults to the current date for date of hire. To edit the date, either manually enter the date or click the calendar icon to use the date picker. The option to activate works at multiple locations is available only if the client is set up for multi-location payroll. For more information on this topic, view the multi-location payroll setup video. After you complete the Personal Information tab, you will notice the red validators for three other tabs, Payroll Wages Rates, Federal Tax, and State Tax. You must complete the necessary fields within all those tabs to be able to save the new employee's information. Click on the Payroll Wages Rates tab. You will select the correct information to input in the employee's pay class and pay frequency from the drop list. The default hours per pay period will automatically populate. Tab through the fields and enter the information where applicable. You must enter the pay rate for each employee who receives a wage. Click the Add button at the top left corner of the Rates box. Choose the current rate field and enter the employee's pay rate. You can tab through the remaining fields to complete. Keep in mind that you are required to enter a description. Drake Accounting allows you to enter more than one pay rate per employee in the event the employee serves more than one role within the company. To enter another rate, simply click the Add button and repeat the process. You must choose a primary rate by selecting the corresponding box, even if the employee only has one pay rate. The primary rate will be used to calculate vacation, sick, and holiday pay. Under the Payroll Options tab, you can select whether the employee is tipped directly and or tipped indirectly. In this section, you can also select whether you want Drake Accounting to calculate sick hours and or vacation hours based on the information you've previously entered. Click on the Federal Tax tab. Here you can choose exemptions and resident status for the employee by selecting the qualifiers in the top box. Select the appropriate field in the Federal Withholding Options box. Select Pre-2020 W-4 if the entry in Federal Withholding Information is based on a W-4 completed prior to January 1, 2020. You must choose the employee's filing status from the drop list. For Pre-2020 W-4s, enter the number of Federal exemptions the employee is claiming as well as any additional withholdings. For 2020 W-4s, enter the extra withholdings as well as dependents, other income, and deductions as found in Step 3 and 4 on the W-4. Finally, choose a visa type for the employee if applicable. Click on the State Tax tab. Drake Accounting populates the state in the State Tax Table and for SUDA based on the employee's address entered on the Personal Information tab. Utilize the drop list to edit if necessary. Mark if the employee is exempt from state unemployment or state withholding. Select the appropriate field in the State Withholdings Options box. You must update the filing status options based on the employee's state W-4 information. We have cleared all the validators. You can either save the information you have entered, which will exit this employee, or move on to other tabs to enter additional information. Let's do that now. Under the Local Tax tab, you can assign the appropriate local taxes that should be withheld from the employee's check. The locality taxes displayed are based on the state selected in the Employee's Address field on the Personal Information tab. You can choose to use Gross Pay for Local Tax or Adjusted Pay for Local Tax. Clicking on a column header will sort the list of taxes on the left side of the screen. Select the locality tax which applies to the employee, click the right arrow, and the locality tax moves to the right column, which means it will be withheld from the employee's pay. If you wish to remove a tax, simply highlight the tax and click the left arrow. If you have set up the employer's deductions, please see the video on deductions and benefits setup if you need assistance, you will see a list of all the available deduction names which can be assigned to an employee under the Deductions tab. Select the deduction to assign the, to the employee and click the right arrow. You will notice the default amount and ceiling you entered when creating the list of deductions. These amounts can be edited for the employee by double-clicking each field. 
The matching checkbox is read-only and will display the information you previously entered when you created the deduction. Once you have selected all of the deductions which apply to the employee, use the up and down arrows to arrange them in order they will be deducted from the employee's pay. To remove a deduction from an employee, highlight the deduction and click the left arrow. When you click on the Benefits tab, you will see a list of all available benefit names based on the benefits entered in the Deductions and Benefits setup. Just like under the Deductions tab, select the benefit you wish to assign the employee and click the right arrow. Once the benefit has been assigned, you can adjust the default amount and or ceiling by double-clicking the respective field, which you will edit and personalize the entry. The next tab is for Direct Deposit. For more information on Direct Deposit, view the Direct Deposit Overview video. The Notes tab can be utilized to enter any miscellaneous information you wish to record about the employee. Once you enter the note about the employee, check the Append Date Time on Startup box in the lower left corner of the screen, which timestamps the note for future reference. For existing employees, the Checks tab will display any historical summary of payroll checks processed in Drake Accounting. Click Save to save all of the data you have entered for the employee. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.